Yes lads, what is going on? Welcome back to another SoRare video. Today we're going to be going through my strategies for this new free-to-play Best of Europe competition that SoRare are putting on for the next three game weeks. Starting off in game week 20, which is, yeah, ending, or sorry, will begin um, on Tuesday when, when Champions League games kick off. Um, then this upcoming weekend, which is October uh, 24th, and then next midweek, which will be October 25th. So, yeah, it's it's one of those free-to-play competitions where Sora are putting on some mental rewards, realistically, right? Like, in this first midweek one, um, the winner will get to fly with the AC Milan squad on a Champions League night. Ridiculous. I think uh, two winners maybe did it last year. I think I saw a bit of content on it. And, yeah, just insane. Like, especially if you're, like, you're a fan of AC Milan. I know the chances of you winning that... Um, you know, it's obviously quite slim, like there's 20, oh, sorry, there's nearly 36,000 entries so far, but it's free to play, like you've literally got nothing to lose, um, second wins match tickets, and, and in third actually, and then fourth and fifth win, um, yeah, some, some jerseys as well from uh, from the clubs that, yeah, they, the, the story have licenses for, and, and then down to 10th win cards, so look, yeah, your chances are slim, obviously, right, but it's free to play, you're not staking anything here, and I think that's the best thing about these, yeah, these free-to-play competitions the Sora do have alongside the Sora Pro things, which is, of course, um, yeah, it takes more, um, yeah, money up front to play and, and to get your entry into those competitions on a weekly basis, but for these sort of beginner type of things, I think it's great, like, not only can, you know, existing users like myself that have been around for nearly four years enjoy them, um, but, you know, it's, it's a great way for, yeah, I think, introducing new players to this game. And if you are watching this and you are new and you are interested in, um, yeah, in, in joining Sora and in playing in the in the Best of Europe comp, there is a link in the description of this video that will actually get you um, enough essence to craft your first limited card completely for free. And we'll get into how that, you know, how that all works um, shortly. And after you've bought your first five cards from the auctions page, which is over on market, down into auctions, if you buy any five cards from this page, you will get, um, yeah, 50 pounds or 50 euros dollars worth of, of free market credits, which you can spend on on more cards, basically. So I hope that's all out of the way um, as far as the intro goes. And yeah, you know, go, going back into this upcoming midweek, which is where we're going to be looking at, yeah, some of the strategies I'm going to be looking to deploy. And I think, yeah, it might, might be relatively useful for some of you newer guys that are watching potentially that... Yeah, are a little bit in the dark as far as, you know, what, what players should I choose? You know, what, what teams are, have got good matchups, etc. And we'll be going through that in this video. So, yeah, leave a like if you do enjoy it. And subscribe if you are new. So, first game week then. So, it's in 21 hours from when I'm filming this. So, you haven't got that long, but you've still got, um, yeah, enough time to, to get your teams ready. So, if we go into set your lineup, you get prompted with the screen of, you know, you need to choose your five players, of course, right? Um, and, you know, thankfully, this being free to play, you can literally choose any goalkeeper, any midfielder, forward, defender that you want that has a fixture in this midweek. So you've got Champions League, Conference League, and Europa League playing. So we've got the pick of the bunch. Like, you think it's, you think it'd be easy, right? You can literally play any card you want. Um, now, of course, you know, Sore Pro, which is, you know, the more paid side of things where you actually buy and own the card, they're more scarce. You know, there you are limited then by you know how many cards you own and who you own, right? But with the free to play stuff, you have literally free reign as far as you know who you want to choose, which is great. Um, but sometimes it can be overwhelming to be honest because you end up making suboptimal decisions uh, because you have so many to choose from. Now, going over to Sora Data on the matchups tab, it's a good indication for us um, to kind of see you know where are the good matchups this weekend, and by matchups I mean you know where a favourites at home to a lesser team and the chances of, of of them sorry scoring three goals or more or winning the game are extremely high man city for example they play at home to sparta prague and yeah 88 percent uh, win probabilities 67 percent three goals scored or more so you know picking man city cards or players sorry probably isn't um the worst decision in the world the only issue is with city and as we all know if you watch football pep roulette can come bite you on the ass um Quite easily, to be honest. We saw it this past weekend against Wolves. I think Grealish and... Was it Bernardo Silva? Or Grealish de definitely didn't start. Or Grealish and Foden, it was. that He started with Doku and um, and um, and Savio, which was... Yeah, I don't think many people actually saw that one coming. Maybe one of them playing, but both was a bit of a shock. So, 
in a weird way, like, yeah, you one Man City players, but the issue is with Sora, you have to basically guess who's going to play before we even know, the, you know, before we know the lineups effectively. There's a deadline that you have to adhere to, and that's what makes it a little bit tricky. So, you know, it's, you know the strategy really is to kind of go for players that you, you, know, you kind of know are going to play. Like, there's no 50-50, or he might, that winger might start, or that winger might start. Unfortunately, with these midweeks as well, a lot of these big teams... Maybe not in the Champions League so much, but in the Europa Conference League and and the um, uh, the Europa League. Sorry, like some teams do rotate. You've got Arsenal at home to Shakhtar, which is a really good matchup. Frankfurt at home as well uh, to Rigas. Girona at home to Bratislava. Like there's some decent matchups here. Galatasaray at home as well. So you know I'm kind of probably gonna pick. I mean it's not rocket science, but I'm probably gonna pick you know my five players amongst these you know, better matchups effectively because those players have a better chance of, of obviously scoring more points. Um, like these lead, like the Leeds games and stuff, the championship football, they, this doesn't count in this free-to-play stuff. It's only the Europa League, uh, Conference League and Champions League stuff. Tottenham are at home to AZ, not bad. Uh, Rapid Vienna are at home as well. So Real Madrid, Dortmund, not necessarily an easy game, but I'm sure you could pick out a few good good scorers in that. Milan are at home to Club Brugia, which is not, not a terrible matchup either. So, yeah, we've definitely got, you know, a, a couple of choices to make as far as like, you know, who's going to be our goalkeeper? I mean, the highest clean sheet percentage there is Man City. But the last time round, Edison didn't start. It was Ortega. And I don't know if I want to take that risk again, to be honest. So I then look down to, you know, the next best, which is um, which is Arsenal. You kind of know Raya's going to play because, yeah, Arsenal haven't really brought Neto in. Um, for the Champions League games, like why would they? They're obviously going to play their best best goalkeeper. So for me, David Raya probably comes in quite comfortably as our as our goalkeeper. Now defense, I mean, I'm not really in love with going with any of the Arsenal defenders to be honest. Like this was last game. Obviously, Saliba got red carded. Doesn't mean he's red carded for the midweek, but I'm just not really, yeah, sort of interested in picking any of the the Arsenal defenders to be honest because they're not really scoring that well. Um, whereas if I went for maybe a City defender, aka maybe Guardiola or even John Stones, you know, even Rico Lewis to be fair, but it's it's, it's guessing who's gonna start, right? Like we need we need players that we know are gonna play, um, and and you know they don't necessarily need to start, but they if they do start, there's there's a higher chance they're gonna score well in that game on paper. Um, we've got Frankfurt now. A player from Frankfurt I, I do like who's on absolute flames right now is Omar Mamouche. Um, who's been ridiculous. And yeah, Premier League clubs are interested. I'm just looking here. Did he play the whole game against Pilsen? He did. So I think I think he might actually be our forward, to be honest. I'm, I'm quite tempted to throw him in. Really nice home fixture. On fire right now. Like his form is insane. Um, we've also got Galatasaray at home, which, you know, you could be picking up like a Mertens maybe. Like there's some good cards from Galatasaray potentially um, to look into. But we still need we need, we still need to, yeah, figure out our defender. I mean, Gvardiol seems not so much undroppable, but he doesn't seem like he's like rotating out at all right now. And for that reason, it does make me feel like that he probably pe- plays again. But I did see this weekend Man City. I'm sure, I'm sure um, Ake was on the bench. Which now puts a bit of a doubt in my mind whether or not Gvardiol's going to play. Um, so yeah, maybe there is more risk than I than I kind of want to admit on on Gvardiol for the first time in a while because Ake's just got fit again. So that one's a bit tricky, honestly. Like I don't know whether I want to get involved in that. Um, we've got Monaco at home as well, which is not terrible. Tottenham defenders, but again, I don't know if I want to really go for that. Maybe PSG because I know Hakimi was um, rested this past weekend. I'd be pretty confident in going Hakimi. I mean, PSV and you know, not necessarily a bad team, but PSV at home, you'd like to think Hakimi could score pretty well in that game. As far as midfielders go, go going back to our matchups tab, Arsenal midfielders, obviously Odegaard's out right now, which is a bit of a killer. You've got City midfielders maybe, Galatasaray, Frankfurt potentially to go with Marmouche. Is there somebody, like that was the last game, okay, that was against uh, by Leverkusen. Not an easy game for sure, but... Let's see against Besiktas. Yeah, they've got Dahoud. They've got Larson. I'm still not really fancying any of those mids. I'm looking for midfielders that can really score me like 100 points, basically, because we have the pick of the bunch, you know, as far as like 
the choice is ours. We can literally pick any midfielder that plays this midweek in the European competition. So, you know, you don't want to mess it up. Maybe someone from Real Madrid. Like, I mean, does does Jude come into the, to the question? Potentially at home to Dortmund. You've got to think. You've got to think Jude scores against his ex club Dortmund, right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that past him. Now, this is where it gets a bit not tricky, but this is where, um, yeah, your chances of climbing up the leaderboards a little bit. Um, higher than maybe somebody would that would sorry play a five man common team. So you know anyone can do this, right? Anyone can play five common cards. But the trick is with this specific competition, you are allowed to play one, like it says here, maximum one limited card. So I own this Dion Bello card. He plays for Rapid Vienna, and they're at home. They've got a good fixture. This guy's actually part of my road to glory. So this is why I own this limited card. And yeah, you're allowed to play one limited. Now, if you are completely new, like I mentioned at the start of the video. Uh, so, you know, as soon as you sign up, we'll give you enough essence to craft your first limited card, which you can play into this competition. Now, you know, if that limited turns out to be like not a great card, then you're, of course, better off playing the, like a common card, right? Because a common card that scores 100 is better than, you know, a limited card that doesn't play, obviously. Um, but the, the key and the, the trick with, with limited cards is, as you can see, they get a extra XP boost. So if I, you know, click Haaland here... If Haaland scores 80 points flat, like he scored two goals, let's say, and gets 10 AA all around score, that is, he'd score 80 points for me, okay? This is, these are his, um, his average in the last 15, that's 65. Anyway, Haaland scores 80. I don't get any like extra XP boost unless I captain him, in which his score will increase by 50 point, uh, 50%, sorry. So if he does score 80, times that by 50% effectively, so I'd end up scoring 120 points if I captained him. If I captain... Um, or sorry, if I play a limited card, you actually end up getting a scarcity uh, bonus because it's a limited card. There's only a thousand of them and they're not common, you know. Um, you end up getting that on top plus the card's XP. So my, my Dion Bello is only level 7. It goes up to level 20. So the max XP on this card would be, with collection bonus, 35%. I've only got 23.5 because I don't have any collection bo bonus and he's only level 7 right now. If I captain him, I end up getting 73.5% um, on top of his score. So if let's say he scored 100 points flat. He scored five goals, right? He has an absolute stormer. I end up actually getting 173.5 points because of um, the scarcity bonus of owning a limited card and playing a limited card. And so that's the key here where like if you really want to climb up the leaderboards and score, you know, as high as possible, basically, you are going to have to play a common, uh, a limited, sorry. You don't have to, but if you really want to get into that top five, uh, you know, top five positions where you can you know, have a chance of, you know, flying on the AC Milan um, team uh, plane, you are going to need to score massive, massive points. But the key is, like, if you are using a limited, you don't want it to be a dud. Like, it needs to be a half decent card that you fancy scoring pretty well. Otherwise, you might as well just play the best common. Like, I might as well play Haaland, really, if I didn't have, like, another... Um, good limited to come in. Thankfully, I have Dion Bello, and I fancy him to actually do pretty well. You know, uh, Rapid, a uh, 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 score, well, sorry, he's scoring really well, but the team he plays for um, is in a really good matchup at home. Like, I fancy them to do well, and he's been, well, last four games, uh, last five games, sorry, he's scored three goals and got a, um, an assist, so I'm quite confident that he would, like, a limited Dion Bello is probably outscores a common Haaland. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it there, and yeah, I think, I think this is the team I'd probably end up rocking, you know. Um, I am going to take advantage of the limited. And like I said, if you are completely new watching this, and if you sign up, sorry, we'll give you enough essence um, to craft your own your own limited. And the way you do that is, let me show you. So lineup set, you go to the top here, um, and you click the uh, the inventory. And this is where, sorry, I'm assuming give you 20 essence. I don't exactly know because I don't have a brand new account. But they said that they give you enough essence to craft your first card. And to craft a card, you need 20 essence. And so, yeah, once this is this bar's at 20, you can, yeah, sort of toggle. Oh, sorry, swipe this to the right. And you end up you end up getting your first card that you can play um, in the Best of Europe comp, which I think is pretty fun. Now, if we look forward to this upcoming weekend as well, I'll do a quick little um, scan through of the matchups and see if we can come up with, um, yeah, a decent little 
a decent little team for this upcoming weekend. So this upcoming weekend is the El Clasico one. So if you finish first, you end up winning VIP tickets to El Clasico. As far as the teams involved, if you go down to the rules, yeah. So the players have to play from the top five leagues, basically. So I can't pick, for example, I couldn't pick PSV players up to play in the in the Dutch league because that's obviously not in the top five league. So it's Prem, Bundesliga, Serie A, French league and La Liga. So City at home to Southampton seems like a very good fixture there. Bayern Munich are away to Bochum. Not a terrible fixture. Napoli are at home. Um, who else do we have that have good fixtures? Atalanta's at home. By Leverkusen, not in a terrible situation. Brighton at home to Wolves might be pretty fun. So, yeah, you know, it's all about you know going in there and and figuring out you know okay, well, who who works out as as the best um, the best plays of of the weekend? I think Edison probably. Edison Guardiola, like let's assume Guardiola maybe gets rotated this midweek. He comes in for the weekend. I mean, I'd be pretty pretty confident Sa- Southampton at home for City. I'd like to think they keep a clean sheet, but you just never know, do you? With City, like Leon are at home to Auxerre. That's not a bad not a bad fixture for for Turkey. Um, my favorite wonder kid. So yeah, th- there's definitely a few fixtures to get to get stuck into. I'd probably end up going um, Kimmich here as my midfielder and then extra player so as you can see the only limited i own um in the top five leagues because dion bello doesn't play in the top five league he plays of course in austria um suso is my only limited now they play away to espanol he hasn't been scoring that well right as you can see so it's it's less opt like it's not optimal for me sorry to play him because he's probably not going to score that well compared to maybe a Cole Palmer at home to Newcastle, you know? I'm better off playing the common card at my disposal compared to, like, the suboptimal limited card. So that's where I'd probably have to go maybe on the market. Let me let me captain Kimmich um, and get that team locked in. And then this is where I would probably go in and go, okay, let me go over to the market. Let me go over to manager sales and just have a little look at, you know, what I could pick up as a limited, as a standalone limited uh, a limited card that could help me in that competition this uh, this upcoming weekend. You can actually do something quite fun on here. So you can go um, down to these filters and it'll show you. So this is game week 21. You can just show cards that have a game week. Uh, sorry, that have a game in that game week um, as far as the um, as far as the market goes. And it's just about sort of scouring this. So this is on newly listed. You can do it by most popular. Um, you can do lowest price, highest average scores. And then for me, it'd be, you know, looking at, okay, well, who could I pick up for, you know, a half decent price that I think could do really well this weekend? So, for example, let's go with, I'm trying to think of it. Well, I'm tr- trying to show a team that maybe doesn't have the most expensive cards in the world. So, you know, they'd be relatively cheap to, to pick up, but maybe maybe score, score well this weekend. Maybe Brighton at home to to Wolves, potentially. So, I would go up. Uh, to the top here, just type in Brighton and see, yeah, what does maybe a Lewis Dunn cost? Or, you know, Matt O'Reilly's a tenner right now. He hasn't really come back into the side. Who else could we pick up from Brighton? Danny Welbeck's only a fiver. I know he kind of got concussed last game, didn't he? So maybe he doesn't end up playing this weekend, but I've seen pictures. He looks fine. So, you know, it could be one of the cases of going, you know what? I fancy Danny Welbeck to, to do quite well again this weekend. You don't even need to buy the new season version, by the way. You could buy the the old season, the classic version, uh, which is like two quid here. So, you know, scored well last game. He's got three goals in his last four. If he's fit, if if he's declared fit, then you'd like to fancy that. You'd like to think, sorry, that he'd score relatively well that weekend. And, you know, it just gives you a, you know, just an extra chance of, um, or a better chance, sorry, of, of climbing those leaderboards compared to just somebody that plays five commons. Now, yeah, you know, is... Is a common Cole Palmer better than than, than a, a limited Danny Welbeck? I mean, there's probably an argument to say that the limited Cole Palmer might be a bit better. So, you know, if you are going to go and shop and, and get a limited card, uh, if you're a beginner, to, to play this comp, you know, make sure it's a card that, one, you you like, you know, as far as, like, the player goes, and two, he's got to be a half-decent player. He's got to score pretty well to warrant getting into your, your five-man team. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. We, we've run through... Um, the last, or the, sorry, the the upcoming two game weeks of the of the best of Europe um, competition. I'm actually quite excited for it. My teams are locked in. I'm hoping Dion Bello uh, does the business for me uh, this midweek, and then yeah, I'll, I'll see if I end up 
I might go and buy a, a Brighton a Brighton player, uh, a Brighton limited card to feature into this um, this weekend comp. So that's game week twenty one, but we've got game week game week twenty to to deal with first, and this is where um, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully Jude gets revenge on, on Dortmund. But yeah, any questions, lads, leave them in the comment section. I'll try and guide you and I'll try and give you um, yeah, a, a quick response and, and a helpful response. Uh, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I shall see you guys in the next one.